Hey, I'm B. Cruz, so we're going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm starting off with a freshly washed face, and I'm going to go in with the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade on my brows. And then I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with the Full Spectrum CoverGirl Matte Primer. You can use whatever primer you would like. And then I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made in the color D50. And I'm going to use this Sonia Kashuk Stippling Foundation and Brush. I'm going to spray it with some e.l.f setting spray and then apply my foundation to my face and I use about two pumps and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that into my skin. I really really love this foundation brush from Sonia Kasha. It came in a brush set from Target and I really really like this set a whole lot and this brush is bomb you guys. So as you guys can see I'm just blending in my foundation really really well. Really get in there and blend my foundation a lot because I don't want it to look cakey. You know, I like to go for a really doll-like, a natural look. Um, that's what I like to go for when I'm applying my makeup. I like to look really, you know, soft. So I'm gonna go in with some LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Beautiful Bronze. Now, sometimes I do this underneath my foundation or over it. It just depends. So I'm just gonna go over some of my dark marks that I feel like was like popping out through my foundation. Um, I don't always do this, sometimes I do, but yeah, you know. <laughs> you know how you switch up your makeup routine a lot. I just be doing stuff, y'all. So now I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. concealer, and I really, really like this concealer. And I'm just going to apply that right under my under eye. Now, all the products that I use in this video will be in the description box below. So don't worry. But I really like this concealer from e.l.f. Like they have stepped their game up and I really like the applicator. As y'all can see, it's so satisfying applying it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and buff that out with a Real Techniques foundation brush. And I always spray my brushes with the e.l.f. setting spray just to help move around the product a lot. But yes, e.l.f. is coming through you guys. I really like this color and I do blend the concealer all over my nose. Um, that's another way that you can like contour your nose and I do put some on my chin. That's like the only areas of my face that I like to highlight. I do go over my eyelids with the brush as well. Next I'm going to go in with the Ruby Kisses HD Set and Forget setting powder and I'm just going to set all of my highlighted areas. Um, I get this from my local beauty supply store so make sure you guys check yours out. I really like this powder. Once I set my highlighted areas, I'm going to go in with the Black Radiant Shoe Complexion Contour Palette in medium to dark. And I'm going to go in with the contour shade and contour the size of my face around my hairline and my jawline. If you've been here with me for a while, then you know this is my absolute favorite contouring palette. This is the only palette I use. I really like the contouring shade. I feel like it fits my skin tone really well. I don't really like cream contour. I prefer powder. The brush I'm using is a Real Techniques contour brush, which I absolutely love. It's really soft. I really like this brush. Real Techniques and Sonia Cash, they have some really nice brushes, you guys. And they're, you know, at the drugstore or, you know, Target or whatever. Target, y'all need to be hitting me up because I feel like I'm saying y'all name a lot in this tutorial. <laughs> no, nah, but yeah, so I'm just going to go in and blend that and then go, you know, over my jawline. And then I also like to go in and contour my nose. So I'm just going to use this Sigma, like, eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to go in and contour the sides of my nose. And I do that all the way up to, like, the tip of my inner eyebrow basically next I'm gonna go in with a wet and wild like blending brush and I'm just gonna blend out the contour on my nose and make sure I blend it really well because I obviously don't want it to be you know harsh next I'm gonna go in with the cover girl true blend translucent powder and sable and i'm just gonna you know dust off all of that setting powder that i put on my face and also kind of like buff out my contour so it doesn't look super harsh i'm using my wet and wild powder brush i need to throw it away but it's my favorite it's like falling apart but i love that brush and then i'm just gonna go back in and touch up my contour because sometimes when you like buff out your you know powder you can like lose a bit of your contour and we put that contour there for nothing 
So I'm going to go in with this makeup um, setting spray. I get it from the beauty supply store. It's just a matte makeup setting spray and I really like it. And then I'm going to go in with the highlight from the Black Radiance palette. It's really pretty and soft. And I'm using my Sonia Cash Shook Highlighting Brush. And yes, you guys, I changed my highlight a lot, but I was like, let me just use this one, you know, since it's already in the palette. But I really do like it. I do use it, but I just switch it up. And I do like to highlight my cubist bow, and I also like to highlight the tip of my nose. I can be rude off if I want to. I know some people don't like it, but I don't care because I like it. <laughs> and I start to feel myself when I put my highlight on. And then I just like to buff it just a little bit to make sure it doesn't look patchy. I'm going to go back in with some other translucent powder from CoverGirl and put that on my eyelids. Because my eyelids like to get oily and I do not wear eyeshadow. It's just not my thing. And I love the Kiss lashes. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply those with some hair glue. Yes, because it's all liquid latex at the end of the day. That's all it is, you guys. And I like the Kiss lashes because they have a really thin band. A lot of lashes have a really thick band. And I just don't like those lashes. I've tried them. And me and them just don't work out. I feel like they make my eyes so heavy. And the key to putting on your lashes is to look down in your mirror. And make sure you let your glue get tacky. So, you know, let it dry for a minute or so. But don't let it get hard. You put them lashes on you really start to feel yourself <laughs> well at least i do and then i'm gonna go in with the extra volume mascara from absolute new york um this is a beauty supply store mascara and i like it because you guys it's so dark like i've never seen a mascara this dark in my life and i did apply it to my bottom lashes off camera and then I'm going to go in with my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. Y'all know I've been rocking with this lip liner for years. It's like a fave. I mean, you cannot go wrong, especially if you're a chocolate girl. It's like bomb for us chocolate girls, okay? And then I've been really loving the lip glosses from the crayon case. I really love them all. The new ones, they're so pretty. I decided to go in with Private Party. This has been like really one of my favorites and it's so weird because it's like a gloss but it's almost like a satin lipstick and it lasts for so long. So shout out to the crayon case because these lip glosses are bomb and I love me a nude natural lip. This is what I typically go for but I do wear color here and there. But lately, i just been in the nude. You know, i just been feeling a nude. And then I just like to go in with some powder, you know, around my mouth, buff it out, make sure everything is looking right and tight and together. And then I like to take off my scarf because you don't want to have that line. Y'all see I have that line by my baby hair. So I'm just going to go in with the contour and, you know, make sure I blend that out, make sure that looks all good and on point. Because you don't want to go out with that line because I don't went out like that before, you guys. So that's how I know. <laughs> this is how my makeup turned out. This is what I do every single time I do my makeup, you guys. Really soft, really pretty, really doll-like. That's how I like to roll. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!